Hello and welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm Jim Egan, here for the final time this season with football head coach Randy Ori. Randy, it was a very, very tough way to wrap up the season on uh, Saturday. Uh, Cougars lose 29-27 on the last second field goal. But if there's anything that we really need to talk about from that game, uh, you had two absolutely incredible performances out there for the Cougars. Uh, senior Kareem Dabney and um, sophomore Thaddeus Daniel. Thaddeus played a phenomenal game as a linebacker. There were two or three hits that were just, you could hear all throughout the stadium. I mean, this guy was flying sideline to sideline. Um, he really lit it up, and we were really happy to see him. Like you said, we got a couple more years with Thaddeus coming back to play. So he did a fantastic job. And Kareem, of course, you know, we put him on a couple things uh, because it was his last game, his senior year. And he made, made do, boy, I tell you, he played well. Uh, he had a lot of turnovers. He did a lot of things out there. And uh, I was very happy to see for him to finish his career with such a great game. And, you know, we played toe-to-toe, -to -toe and it was a, a very cold, uh, windy day. And our guys played very, very hard, and uh, I'm very pleased with, with the effort that they gave throughout the whole year. You know, we've, we ended up playing, uh, we, we scrimmaged uh, Eureka, who was a playoff team, and then two other teams and, that we played this year. So three of the teams that we went against this year are national playoff teams. And, you know, that we know the level now that we got to get to, and we just need to get back at it. We're going to be out recruiting and, and then go into uh, the off season and get everybody ready to go for spring ball and come back fired up for next fall. Um, one of the things about Kareem Dabney's game, he, of course, he's a senior. It was his final game, and I'm not sure I've ever seen a senior have a final game like that. I mean, one to truly remember. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, Kareem's one of a, of a whole bunch of seniors that are uh, – that are moving on to uh, better things we trust and um, wonder if you could, you know, we've, we've talked about your seniors early in the year when we recognized them on senior day, but uh, now that we're at this point, I'm wondering if you could just speak a little bit more about sure. them. Sure. Well, you know, uh, Shane, our quarterback, uh, he'll be graduating actually in December um, and he'll be moving on to the next step of his life, going back to California, that's where he's from. Um, but we have, I think, three great quarterbacks coming back, so we're excited about that. Rob Grinquist, uh, Tyler Sisich, and uh, Griffin are all coming back. Um, they're going to be back uh, and, and healthy, ready to go, so they know the system. Uh, offensive line, all of our offensive line will be back with the exception of Anthony Langro, and he's going to be graduating, and uh, he's, he did a great job. We haven't picked all conference players this year, but I'd be disappointed if he isn't in that. Uh, in that mix. Um, our wide receivers, um, when you look at Ryan Allison and uh, Leroy Bridges and Rob Padella, they've done a fantastic job for us at, at the positions and wide receivers and um, made some great catches and, and did a great job for us. Defensively, uh, we've got guys like uh, All Day and Ivan, uh, Nico Powell, I'm trying to go through all the list of them. There's you know, uh, the, the D lineman, Zach Myron Rip. So we got three D linemen that, that will be moving forward. Uh, we've got one of the linebackers, Nico, um, that'll be graduating, and Kareem as a defensive back. Uh, so we've got some really, really fine young men that are going to be moving on in the next step of their life. Uh, but the exciting thing is we've still got a lot of guys coming back next year, and we're looking forward um, you know, to the future. I think the seniors should be credited to the big change in the program and how we're moving forward. Um, we've got great young men. The academics are doing very well. Um, they've, they've done a, a real competitive season this year. And I think now with that behind them, they can go out there. Because if you look at the season, uh, two or three plays, one play in some games would have made a difference. Mm -hmm. And you make two or three plays and the whole season's a completely different year. So, um, we're, you know, we're excited about the future and we're really happy for these seniors to be able to see what the next step of their life is going to take them. Right. Let's talk for just a moment about uh, next season. Uh, perhaps uh, we have some fans out there that do not know that um, the conference is going to be taking on an affiliate member next year, Eureka College. They were part of the Cougars' uh, former conference for many years, but they will be back in uh, next year. 
um, that will replace one of the games against the Michigan Conference schools. And um, just wonder if you can talk what, uh, what might be on the horizon uh, for next season along with uh, that one schedule change. Well, Coach Barth is a friend of mine, the guy that's the uh, head coach at Eureka, and we actually scrimmaged each other this year, and we had a real good scrimmage. So we're excited about them joining in our conference. What that does is that gives us a game now that we don't have to try to go out there and schedule. And, um, you know, with, with Eureka coming in, uh, giving us another conference contender, I think our conference is going to get stronger because we are an automatic bid right now to win the conference, and Eureka is a playoff team. So that's going to just help us football-wise. And, um, you know, we'll just, instead of playing two Michigan schools, play one. So I see it as a positive for the football program here as well as for the conference. All right. Are you already counting down the days till first day of preseason next August? <laughs> uh, we got to do some recruiting now. That's, we just got done meeting and talking about the recruiting and who's going where, and, and we're going to be heading out. Uh, we got this week to get everything set up, and then obviously Thanksgiving week we'll take a break, and then when we, we'll be out on the road for about two or three weeks, and then we start bringing players in to start having them do the campus visits. All right. Randy, I'd like to thank you for coming in each Monday to uh, talk to me, talk to our fans, and keep us, uh, keep us up what's going on with the uh, football program. Uh, certainly wish you a restful off season, but again, also a very successful season with the recruiting. Thank you. Okay. For head coach Randy Ari, I'm Jim Egan, and thank you all for watching Coaches Weekly.